<sighs> oh, hey, what's going on, y'all? I'm just taking a little summertime siesta with a few of my amigos, like this little amigo. Got this seltzer amigo. Oh, wow, I got a few more. I got, I got a lot of amigos taking a nap with me. I better wake up. It's time for the Texan table. Woo! All right, y'all, so I thought I would wake up from my nap in order to come back here to the Texan table where we get to sample and today drink some of the best products made right here in the Lone Star State. So maybe you like a good cold beer on a hot summer day, but sometimes you're just in the mood for something a little bit different. And we got three awesome Texas products right here. We have Ranch Water Hard Seltzer from Carbach Brewing out of Houston, Texas. We have Cantina Margarita Hard Seltzer from Austin, Texas. And over here we have Sangria San Anto Spiked Spritzers. They're made in San Antonio, Texas. That's yeah. a lot of S's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sangria San Anto Spiked Spritzer from San Antonio. <laughs> I'm covered in spit. Suffer and suck all right, so let's address a couple questions right off the bat. If I drink hard seltzer, do I lose a corner off of my man card? No, of course not. This stuff is delicious and refreshing. I mean, what do you think? This is some like 80s wine cooler masquerading as a seltzer. Hey guys, did y'all see that episode of Moonlighting last night? I mean, uh, Yellowstone yesterday. No, come on guys, it's delicious. If you like it, drink it. All right, a vegetarian. My kind of guy. Second, what exactly is hard seltzer? In hard seltzer, the alcohol can come from a lot of things. Maybe uh, fermented cane sugar, malted barley, sometimes it's even base grain alcohol. But the point is, it's low calorie and it's generally trying to be undetectable. Enough yapping, let's get to some drinking. First off, we're gonna start right here. Carbach Brewing's ranch water. So typically ranch water is tequila, lime, sparkling water but they've made their own version right here in the can. We got their variety pack. So we have original, we have lemon, we have watermelon, and we have prickly pear. Well, we're gonna have to try all of them, but I think we start right here. Oh yeah. As we thought, totally clear and a little bit bubbly. I mean, honestly, that just uh, smells like sparkling water with a little squeeze of lime in it. Oh yeah, hey, that's good. You know, a lot of people are moving to hard seltzers because they are lower calorie. If you're trying to drink them by the pool in the Texas sun, you gotta <laughs> make sure the kitties keep purring, if you know what I mean. Just watch out for the guns. They'll get you. Typically, ranch water's made with lime. I don't know if I've ever had ranch water with lemon. Ooh, that's good. Like a ranch water and a lemonade made a baby. Here we go, agave prickly pear. It is actually sweetened with 100% blue agave. That's good. What does it taste like? I was like, kind of tastes like the color purple. What? I mean, prickly pear has a flavor. These are all super refreshing. You're gonna go sit by the pool, you're gonna take a tube ride, like that's gonna hit the spot right there. We're moving over here, Cantina Margarita Style Hard Seltzers. This is from the same folks out of Austin who make those delicious canteen alcoholic sodas, and they decided to go in a margarita style hard seltzer. We have their original, we have their strawberry, and then we have their mango. You can tell they're from Texas because they didn't put a saguaro cactus on it. They put a prickly pear cactus. That's how you know. Let's see if this one's just as clear as the others. Yeah, it is. Bit of a limier aroma. Ooh, it's sweeter. Like you want to drink this on a patio at a Mexican restaurant with your food. You know what I mean? I mean, you could drink this by a pool. Honestly, you could drink this anywhere. I think I get the point. So only one gram of sugar and one net carb, 5% alcohol. Fantastic. Strawberry. Oh man, that's delicious. It's got about 20 more calories than the Carbog. You can tell where that's coming from. It is a bit sweeter, just as bubbly, just as refreshing. I mean, that's, that is absolutely delicious. All right, mango. You don't see a lot of canned mango things. Oh, that's good. That, my friends, is very, very good. I know I say that a lot. I hadn't noticed that before. That must be annoying. All right, guys, let's take a little bit of a whoop, and we're gonna go over here to San Antonio, the Alamo City, for some sangria. This is actually made by the Alamo Beer Company. If you notice, they don't call this a hard seltzer. It is a spiked spritzer. This is actually a wine-based carbonated sangria. Sangria is 
red wine, usually with lots of fruit dunked in it, mixed with some sweet juice. Sangria San Anto. Totally, That's not clear. totally different. No, not clear at all. I will read you the ingredients. Merlot, grapes, natural juices, strawberry, black currant, apple, orange, lime, blackberry, and bubbles. Ooh. Oh gosh, you can actually taste like wine and fruit. It's all the things you love about sangria, but with bubbles in it. And who doesn't love bubbles? My bubbles. So if you're gonna drink something for the lack of calories, maybe stay over here. If you want something that's kind of wine focused on the palate, this is, this is the ticket right there. All right, so if you want to find out more information about these companies, you can, of course, check their websites. But even better is if you walk into your local grocery store or liquor store and you search for these on the shelves to go out there, support Texas businesses, and uh, find a little bit of refreshment. The hot temps are coming, folks. You better be stocked up. Cheers to a refreshing summer ahead. Mm, lots of bubbles. Lots of bubbles.